Well, hello. I am back. I know I have not made a video in a while. In fact, I only made one video and realized how much extra work it is to make a YouTube video on top of TikTok and Instagram and all the other things that I'm doing. I don't know. I'm just feeling more inspired to uh, go with a longer format than TikTok. It's so choppy and there's not a lot of time to get out a lot of information. I'm feeling more chatty, I guess, these days. And so I um, bought some lights and here we are, ready to make my second YouTube video. And the topic of today is, drum roll please, mealybugs. That's right, my least favorite pest that there is. The reason why you're starting with my least favorite pest is because I just happened to notice that this cute little plant here has a mealybug infestation. I'm sure you're wondering, how do I know if I have mealybugs? What am I supposed to be looking for? And how the heck do I get rid of them? So we will go over all that, don't you worry. I got you, I got you. Um, first of all, what you are looking for, okay, I can't tell you how many times that someone has told me, there's something wrong with my plant, I can't figure out what it is, and I say, have you checked for pests? And I say, yes, I look for pests, and then I get over there, I look at the plant, and what do you know, mealybugs. What you're looking for is basically um, <laughs> cotton, or like a white little fuzzy substance that you're going to find on your plant. They can be so small that you physically cannot see them with the naked eye. And then as they grow to be mature adults, particularly the females, um, you'll be able to see them. The two that are on this plant, they're not at full size yet. One is about the size of, if you took a pen and you made a dot with your pen, one of them is about that size. The other one is about the size of like a smaller freckle. But luckily they stand out to me because they are white and I'm always looking for the white. Ugh, they disgust me, they're so gross. Um, you want to look for them literally everywhere. Here's another one. But they particularly like to hide in what I call the elbows of the plant, which would be basically any nook and cranny, but specifically like right here where the leaf and stem come together. So before I tell you how to get rid of mealybugs, let's talk a little bit about what they are. So there's a few types. The first type is going to munch on the leaves. The second type is going to munch on the soil. The good thing is the type that's going to munch on the soil will not be found in the leaves. You don't need to go looking for through the leaves and vice versa. Most of the time, you're looking for the kind that's going to be on the leaves. I just found another one. Ooh. This plant, man, they're really small, but here's the catch. A female mealybug can lay over 600 eggs, 600. So by the time that you actually can see with your naked eye a mealybug on there, it's likely that there are 600 eggs on your plant. Oh yeah, so if you can see a lot of adults, then 600 times however many adults you see is probably how many bugs are on the plant. <sighs> so your plant's not gonna die right away if you have mealybugs, but if you leave them on there, you absolutely will have a upset with you plant to dying plant. And the longer you leave them, the less likely you are to eradicate the problem because they're gonna be everywhere, hiding in every little tiny little nook and cranny, and it's gonna be a lot of work. So take care of them the second that you find them. The next thing you need to know about mealybugs is that you cannot use a systemic insecticide to kill them. It will not work. What's a systemic insecticide, you ask? Well, so an insecticide is something that's going to kill a plant pests. There are two kinds. There's physical insecticide and there is systemic. And let's break down what those are, pretending that I'm a plant and that there is something eating me. That sounds weird, but I feel like it's easier to comprehend this way, so we're going to go with it. So if I were to drink a poison that did not kill me, but it came out of my pores when I sweat, and then the thing eating me ate it, and then it poisoned that and it died, that would be systemic. And the same thing happens for the plant. So you water this in to the soil, the plant takes it up through its system, and it comes out through the foliage, and then a mealybug eats it, and we're done. <laughs> oh, that was a weird. Unfortunately, 
that would be great, but it doesn't work. For a lot of pests, systemics do work. Um, although there's other risks involved, so I don't necessarily recommend always going to, straight to systemics. But with mealybugs, they don't even work. It's not going to solve your problem. So what you need to get is a physical insecticide, which means you need to spray this on the bug, which can be harder than you would think if it is hiding in a little tiny corner. So neem oil is an example of a physical insecticide and basically it's a oil that you are going to dilute into water because if you were to just put this straight onto the leaves it could burn the leaves. It's kind of like you know essential oils they don't recommend that you just put them directly on your skin. You want to dilute them in another oil first and then put them on your skin. Well with a neem oil same kind of thing except for that you're going to dilute it into water. Basically you're going to follow your um, package instructions for whichever neem oil you buy um, but a lot of times they're going to have you mix um, about a teaspoon and a half of the neem oil with a half teaspoon of a dish soap. I recommend using an unscented dish soap. Um, the reason for that is the essential oil that they use for fragrance in a scented dish soap could cause issues to your plants. So why not err on this side of caution? So I'm just using some Dr. Bronner's. And then you're going to fill up the rest of your spray bottle with water shake it up. The reason for the soap is because oil and water tend to separate and so um, putting a little dish soap will keep it that the oil is all the way mixed in through your water so you're not getting splotches of oil, splotches of water, which would cause that burning issue that we don't want. So say you've got your plant, you look really close and you see what I see here, which is a tiny little speck which happens to be a mealybug. And you're like, oh no, if I see one, there must be more of them. What do you do? Do not panic. This is what you're going to do. Um, if possible, I would recommend taking this into like your shower or taking it outside with the hose and spraying it down as good as you can. Um, you don't necessarily need to dump all the soil out because like I said, the types of mealybugs that are found on the leaves are not going to be in the soil. Um, if you do find them in the soil, then you're going to want to totally change out the soil and spray down the roots with some like lukewarm water or room temperature water so that you don't shock the roots. Um, but let's assume we're talking about the mealybugs that are on your leaves, which wouldn't be in the soil. Um, you're gonna wanna spray down the foliage to get off as many of them as you can. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do, or if, you do, if that's not an option for you for whatever reason, is you're gonna get your neem oil spray and you're gonna spray down this plant Heavily. You want, like I said, if the spray doesn't come in contact with the bug, it's not going to kill it. Um, so you need to get it thoroughly soaked. You can see how I'm lifting up the back of the leaves to get every single spot. I'm telling you, the importance of this is major important. <laughs> Here is why. Look at this. I'm looking at an elbow of a plant and I discover a sneaky little bugger in there. Here's a better look right there. Yep mealybug in the crack so you really got to get every little crack or else that one will have 600 babies okay next step is to wipe down each leaf you can see I'm very gentle to hold the back of the leaf as I wipe so that I don't accidentally pull off a leaf some plants can be more delicate than others and I'm just going to go through every single I cannot stress this enough nook and cranny <laughs> with my paper towel I replace as I go especially if I find a mealybug I'll replace my paper towel at that point and yes. Then last step is to disinfect our workspace so we don't spread through our workspace. I'm going to give the plant a nice little shake to get off any excess water and then if you have a fan it would be good to get some airflow on this plant so the neem oil can stay on there and treat the plant but we don't get a fungal infection from large sitting water drops. And there you have it everyone, a happy healthy plant. My best advice is to repeat this process once a week until you don't see any mealybugs for at least two weeks in a row and then you can move the plant back <laughs> look at my hard drive sneaking back in the frame you can move it back around other plants at that point all right everyone thank you